us. Look at us. Who would have thought? Look at us. Uh, Do you know what I mean? You've hit this out the park. Thank you. (laughs) Whoopi (laughs) gold. Hi guys. Hello. Welcome, welcome back to As Seen In. Uh, hello. Season three, episode two. I feel like oh. your energy's not up, Kaylee. Sorry. What I don't like about? this dress that I'm wearing. The dress is so <laughs> beautiful. Enjoy it. I feel like it's like, sorry. Do you know what I mean? Sorry if I'm filling. No, it's so fine. Today's um, episode is so fun and so fresh. So fun. So fun. Mm. Yeah, really fun. Really? I can't speak. I think I have a lisp. Did I tell you this you, before? You've said this before. But I don't think you do. I think you just think you do. I think I have a, a slight lisp. Like if you were to watch me speak, you'd be like, mm, there's no. something there. Let me look. No. <laughs> Let me look. But um, that's why I'm kind of happy the mic covers my mouth. But anyway, today's episode is so fun, so fresh. Sorry that my bazongas are just pushing Kaylee. the mic around. I'm sorry. I'm trying. I, I shouldn't have worn the dress. The dress is perfect. Fuck off. Okay, let's go. Tell them what we're doing. Today, today, today on our scene, we are we are doing some recasting. We are recast we're casting directors today. Casting directors. Basically, to preface just because the people might be like, it's perfect. We don't nothing these don't need to change. We think all of these movies are great. Everyone did a great job. Everyone did a great job. We just thought it'd be fun to yeah. see what what we would come up with if we wanted to have alternative casts to different yeah, it's to just these fun, movies. Do you know what I mean? So fun and so fresh. Should we list the movies now so that you know what you're looking forward to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna be recasting. Yeah. Don't worry, darling. Just because it's new. Yeah, facts. And I think. Yeah. yeah. Next. Uh, okay. I'll. Uh, <laughs> not in this order. Or are we doing it in this order? We're okay. doing it in this order. Then The Incredibles. Okay. Which I think it's kind so of fun. not in that order. Okay. I don't. I didn't. I just. I didn't have an order. I had an order. I, know it was, I was going list, by the order that we we okay. pre-agreed on the list. You okay? You tell them, and then I'll just read them bits of the time when you. Okay, so the order we're going in. Don't worry, darling. Mean Girls, Titanic, Grease, Harry Potter, Twilight, Spider Man, Incredibles, and Cinderella. We're recasting all of those movies. Mm-hmm. What? I didn't. You didn't do Cinderella. I do in my head. I know. It's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Do you know what one thing was really difficult for me? Not putting Florence Pugh for every single character. <laughs> I'm not joking when I say I wanted to. I put her for something, I think. Oh, I didn't. Well, I've put her for something now. Okay. For Cinderella. It might be Cinderella. Yeah. Okay. So I think she could do it. Okay, anyway. Let's okay. start with Don't Worry, Darling. <laughs> Who? Okay. So I... Okay. Sorry. We I haven't struggled. figured out the logistics. No, because I struggled with this. I didn't struggle too much. Can you tell me yours and then I'll just say if I agree? Okay, so for Don't Worry Darling, for Harry's character, I put Austin Butler. Come on. No, you know there's a Austin, reason I made that look. Austin Butler would get there's in character. There's a reason character. I made that look. Why? I'll tell you later in the episode. Okay, okay. Austin Butler would get in character. We've seen with Elvis, he is method. He would, be, he would play Harry's character perfectly. And he's got that heartthrob-esque type of, you know, Fine. persona that he could embody. Okay. For Florence's character, I put... Kian and Shipka. Yeah. She play, she's in Sabrina yeah. and she's got that similar, I feel like she has the depth okay. and she has this, a similar aesthetic to Florence in a way. Yeah, um, sure. For Olivia's character, I put Emma Mackey. Yeah, I wanted to put Emma Mackey for something. Because I feel like they have a similar- She's got that bone structure. It's the bone structure. I didn't really go off anything else like okay. skill. It was yeah, more okay. just the way they look. Yeah, okay. And then for Chris Pine's character, yeah. I put James Franco. Just yeah, because it's like okay. evil vibes. Actually, you know what? Really agree. Yeah. So okay. I think I did well with that. I think I could be a casting director, Loki. Okay. Should I do that as a, like a little side hustle? I don't know if I agree with Austin. I think he looks too young. I don't know. This has been know. this has been a recurring problem for me when I was doing the recasting because yeah, I was like, yeah. at what age are we casting? Also, them? yeah, I, I as we go on, you'll see that there's no theme as to whether it's current people or when they were younger. Yeah, facts. Because for some we'll things, I just couldn't think of anyone other f- than someone when they were younger. Yeah, so yeah, So let's yeah. just go. Um, I agree with most of that. What did you I do? You didn't, said did you? said Flo was perfect and anyone could have played Olivia. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, 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 not because she couldn't act, because like that character was very yeah. 2D. Yeah. Until the end. Any, mm. like, any pretty... Yeah. Sort of... Yeah. Okay, but not no shade, I'm just saying. No, but that's just Harry, a fact. Harry could have been replaced but with who i couldn't figure that's out that's why i think austin and butler chris pine I agree like it literally could have been anyone like james franco i really agree with yeah if, out of your list that's the one i agree with james most. franco he yeah. just gives off evil vibes yeah 
So I think okay. that would be great. Yeah. Mean Girls. Okay, do you have something for this? So we so we've done the the main four, and then I also yeah. did Janice, which is the best friend, girl best friend. Yeah. Okay, so that. that's fine. That's fine. Who did Sorry. you put for the main four? Hear me out a little bit. Don't Sorry alter about my list. Sorry about the tapping. It's the claws. The carry way. on, carry on. I okay for Katie. I kind of struggled because I, th- I thought it had to be like kind of like, like girl next door because she starts off quite. Which one's like, Katie again? Lindsay oh yeah, Lohan. Lindsay Lohan. Like, she kind of starts off kind of tomboyish and like, but then I had to pick someone that's going from that to like the mean girl themselves. Yeah. I went for Maya Hawk. No way. I put her as the girl best friend. Look at us. Look at us. Yeah. Who would have thought? Look at us. <laughs> I, I just think she could do it because she's got that kind of like girl next door vibe. I think she belongs in the mean girls universe And after sure. watching Do Revenge recently. Okay. I think she could do it. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Yeah. What about the... the, uh, the Regina, three? I put Taylor Mom- Momsen. Jenny from Gossip Girl. Oh yeah, facts, yeah. facts. Gretchen, really I put Madeline Klein. I've she played a mean girl in Stranger Things. Madeline Klein, and she, and she had she has brown hair sometimes, and I just kind of saw it, but I struggled because I don't. She's kind I of, think she's really cute. Well, man, yeah, that's I said to Heather because Heather said Regina, and I was like, there's no way she could be Regina because she's got a nice face. Yeah, <laughs> she's too nice for that. Yeah, facts. <laughs> Regina, oh, I told you Regina's Taylor Momsen, and then Karen. I don't know. It needs to be someone kind of ditzy. I put Lily Reinhardt, but that was a rush. Okay. So for to piggyback off of you for Karen, I put or Amanda. Yeah. Um, Seyfried. Amanda Seyfried. Seyfried. I don't know how to say it. Okay. I put Sydney Sweeney. Really good. Because she really can good. be she She's can be ditzy. ditzy and she could have depth. Really good. That girl yeah, can yeah, yeah. act as well. Uh. Mm. She can. Not in the voyage. She can't. Okay. Fine. I've only watched Euphoria with her stuff. She's really good in Euphoria. This is absolutely no shade. Well, I guess it is kind of shade. I just, I think the voice was badly written movie anyway, so maybe that's why. Okay. Sorry. For she's Regina, hot. she's beautiful. Yeah. For Regina, I put Bella Thorne. Yeah. Right. I think Bella Thorne came up in my. Uh, yeah. She, she just because, and also the red hair. Yeah, no, she would. She'd say. Um, for Katie, Madeleine Petch. We said that. We did say that. Right. And she, she. Yeah. I like yeah, her. I like. I know. I like for her. Lindsay Lohan's character. Yeah. Because she could be the tomboy esque thing and then be mean yeah. as well and be pretty and yeah. she has range. Yeah. Okay. Like we've seen that with Riverdale. Okay, as yeah. ghastly as that show is, my goodness, I can't. Wow. In Salem Hollow. <laughs> that's not. Why the first do time they that's sing? Why do they sing? Have you seen that video of Lily Reinhardt when she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah still yeah. in it, still. That's I me. was like, so sorry, Lils. <laughs> Lils, so sorry, sorry, Lils. You could tell she's like so binded in that contract. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, for Gretchen, Nina Dobrev. I just, I, I need to. She watch can be it ditzy. Again. She can be. Yeah, I love Nina Dobrev so much, like literally so much. So much. And then I told so you I'd for Janice, I put Maya Hawk because okay. I think they look really similar. Yeah. I get you. Okay. Oh, I do get you. Yeah, facts. She's kind of like, like she gives me like butterfly clip vibes. Right, right, right. Does she have butterfly clips in there? I don't know. Okay. Well, she does. Okay. Um, Titanic. Um, For Titanic, <laughs> I yeah. put... Okay, so... I only did Jack and Rose, by the way. Yeah, oh. Only two characters I can Okay, name. yeah, facts. Old woman at the end. <laughs> don't know. Uh, Jack have really extensive list of people I think Extensive? Could, I could struggled play. for Jack. But carry on. Young Killian Murphy, I think, could have done it. Okay. Oh, I don't agree with myself there. But Henry Cavill really don't agree with that. Don't agree at all. Like that, I don't agree. Mm. 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 Uh, <laughs> no, but, oh. What? Oh my God, was I drunk when I was writing this? What else? <laughs> no, okay. I think Jude Law Young could have done it. Yeah, he yeah, could. Yeah, he could. Young Jude Law, not young, like young. oldie. Uh, Dev Patel? I think oh, could really yeah. have done the hair, like the hair, Dev, and, and I love has, him so much. He has that boyish charm. Yeah, I really like him. Yeah, I actually think he's up there. I um, love him. I'm gonna say either Young Killian Murphy then or Dev Patel because I have just seen a couple of people that reoccur later. Okay, fine. So I put those two for Jack. I put a young Alex Pettifer. Yeah, yeah. Do you get me? Yeah, I do. But that was more because of the combo. Because for Rose, I put Maud Apatow. She's in one of mine later. I love um, her. I didn't pick. her She though. has that. Um, she gives me Rose vibes. Like if it was like a young Ooh, cast yeah, or if yeah. she was a bit older, if Alex was a bit younger yeah, and yeah, they were around okay. the same age as like when Jack and Rose yeah. were young, I think that could be really perfect. I have put someone that I put twice again. That's fine. Anya Taylor-Joy. 
Oh, love her. She's just so, like, ethereal. She was really great in Last she's Night in Soho. She's beautiful. Like, I just think she's, like... Sh- sh- and Queen's Gambit. And yeah. she was ginger in Queen's Gambit, so it kind of, okay, like, yeah. pushes my rose vibes. Fine, fine, I fine. I just think she's great and very versatile and could have done it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Let's do... um. Oh, you've got more for Rose? No. Okay. Let's do Grease. Sandy, Danny, and Rizzo. Sandra, mm, and you tell it, Joy. I think she could have done that. I think she could have done that because she plays like the cute suit one, and then right at the end she gets the leather on, and she's like, oh. okay, yeah, okay, fine. But she can do, but she's got that like very innocent bone sort of like. See, oh, and Sandy. And I then, get you, but I think then... she's too. She's she she's not innocent enough. I think her. Okay, yeah, she would always. It would always be think. I would always be thinking. Mm, there's something under yeah, the surface okay. here. She's Fine. got depth. Yeah. True. Whereas I feel like Sandy doesn't have yeah, much until depth until right at the end when she brings right the lever out. Which is why I think I put Bailey Madison because she she who Bailey, Bailey Madison? Madison. She can always she okay she okay. would play Selena Gomez's younger sister in Wizards. Yeah, she did. Yeah. Yeah, and I feel like she's older now, and I think she can act in a way which comes off as there's no depth there. She's a really great actress. Mm, okay. And then for Rizzo, I put Selena Gomez. <laughs> Because I would just love to see that duo again. Okay. Wait, who was your Danny? Or have you not done that yet? Um, my Danny, I put Cordova Street. He was in Glee. He's in Glee. Yeah. I, I put here, I think Tati will say Austin Butler. And I knew he'd, <laughs> I knew he'd come up. That's why I said, wait, it's later. Oh. I thought you'd pick uh, Austin he, for he, Danny. He was on my shortlist. But really? I, I took him off because of him mentioning him in Don't Worry Darling. Okay. What did you okay. put? Okay. I just you put, didn't. I think, yeah. Say Austin Butler. I looked through an extensive 150 list of young. No, me too. Actors. We probably and looked I, at the I, same and list. And I couldn't. We find probably you looked at the it. same list. But Austin Butler, I think he's so versatile. Okay. I think he's so method. Anyone yeah. who's method like that can do anything. Okay. So fine. <laughs> Honestly. Okay. Harry Potter. <clears throat> Guys, don't come for yeah. us. Harry Potter is literally the most perfect franchise on earth. I wouldn't dream of an alternative cast. This is for entertainment. And experimental purposes only. Carry okay, on. yeah. I've got a shortlist for literally each of the characters. Okay, Harry. I've gone for Asa Butterfield. Oh, when he, that's he was good. a child actor and he's British. That's good. I do think there's... <laughs> Mine. Gosh. I do think there's no way anyone American could play it. I'm really sorry. There's just no way. You have, no. That is the most British film. Yeah. The, Brit- the, the, the Britishness is engraved in the movie. Um, but I have some other ones I actually thought would be ideal as well. Okay. I, okay, I'll read my list and then I'll tell you which ones I crossed off internally. Okay, okay, okay. So I said Ace, 100%. Mm. Young Tom Holland, kind of crossed that one off. Is that who you picked? Okay. I put Tom Holland. Really? And sorry. I put, a, I put young, like I was thinking young Tom Holland. Like, like impossible age. Yes. I do think, but then I also don't. He's perfect. I crossed him off the list. Okay. Then I said Thomas Brody Sangster, but I also crossed him off because he's blonde. Sorry. Okay, okay. Then I came to two that I thought maybe young could do. Nicholas Holt. I don't remember seeing him in anything when he was that age, but Nicholas Holt has that kind of Harry look. Okay. And then this one is perfect, and I think it's a tie between Asa, is Freddie Highmore. Oh, yeah, who yeah. Who is his Charlie Bucket. Yeah, absolutely. And I think Charlie I Bucket in that version of it would be perfect as Harry Potter. Okay, fine. So fine, those fine. are my, my Harrys. What about your uh, Hermione? Goes so Hermione, I put McKenna Grace. Do you know McKenna Grace? Isn't she American? She is American. But... <laughs> She is really cute. Okay. She's a great actress. She Who has a lot she? of depth. She's she's, she's the one that young plays young Caroline. Caroline. Yeah, yeah. Okay. She, she's, she's really okay. great. I love her so much. She's really cute and really sweet. But she's not British. But she can. I I reckon she could do a mean British accent. Okay, but I wouldn't risk it in my version. But okay, I fine, really fine, fine. no no I love you. Fine fine fine. Love your version. Thank you. Well. I appreciate the support. Um and I then have, oh you have another oh, one. Oh yeah no no, no you, you go have for mine you go for really? mine. Really? Yeah. Okay, again I'm going to read you the shortlist in my thought process. Okay. Lily Collins was the first person I thought of, but I haven't seen her act that age. Yeah. But she's very British. Imogen Poots, similar vibe. Do you know okay, who I don't know who those. I can imagine her when she's young being a good Hermione. Okay. So she Ronan could have smashed it. I know she's Irish, yeah. but I think she could. She can do anything. Then I get down to my real my real ones. Kaya Scudellari. Oh, how do I say it? Oh, okay. The one who was Effie in Skins. Yeah. I think she could have done it. Okay. I think Felicity Jones from Chalet Girl could have done it. I th- from Chalet Girl? Felicity Jones, the British one. I think she could have done it. I think, okay. And then Millie Bobby Brown. I did see Millie Bobby Brown and I you was know? like, oh, but she's already, she's of the Hermione era right now. That's what I mean. So like yeah, but well. I think she was just too obvious of a decision for okay. me. But Sorry. It's okay. Sometimes you have to go with the Sorry, set. Sorry, McKenna Grace, the American blonde actress. Okay, but I was just trying to be different. No, you are different. I'm so. not like other girls. No, you're not. Um, <laughs> let's do Ron. Kit Connor. 
Oh, when he was so stupid. Because he How did, did I young, not think of young that? Young Elton. How did I not think of him? And he's ginger. Why did I say that like it was a like horrible a secret? Thing. And, and he's ginger, ginger, but it's okay. <laughs> I think that, like, I think in the books, Ron is described as a redhead. I couldn't yeah, tell you I haven't read them in years, but I mean, the whole think... Weasley family is redhead. I think yeah, it's like true. part of the culture. Okay, I think it kind of their culture. The other person I said was Ed, again Dev Patel, but that For was Ron. if we were going in like. Uh, off book route. Okay, fine. I think he's like a cute friend. But yeah. I think Kit Corner would be on my number one for Ron because I think he could do it. This one was literally just like, I was stuck and I just put anything down. No, a snap. Like, <laughs> use your brain. He could do it. If he had an accent and red hair, I reckon he would do it well. But yeah. anyway, for Malfoy, I did Malfoy. Bollocks. <laughs> I think while you talk. I, was, I said Will Poulter young. Okay, Will Poulter appears in my list later on. Okay. That's a good idea though. Yeah. Like young though. Yeah. I can't think and of if he grew his hair out and like was platinum blonde, I reckon he could do it. Yeah. And he's but, British. So thank goodness for that. Yeah. Sorry. I, I know I did some, I, okay. I did some wrongdoings there. You did. It's fine. Twilight. Again. Uh, okay. I'm going to run through my I list. I can't fault this movie and then we can on talk. a casting basis. Edward didn't have one. I had one. Jake, go. Timothy Chalamet. Yeah. That was the only person I was thinking, but he I, could do, he could capture Edward's. He could do the mysterious essence for sure. The essence d- of Edward could be Timothy. Okay. Yeah. That's the I, only reason I why. I kind of agree, but I don't know. Okay. Jacob, I struggled and I did say to Heather, like, I, I'm going to preface, I know Jacob is of Native American, American yeah. descent and I did try and find someone of Native American descent, but I couldn't find someone that I knew. There probably is yeah. loads of amazing Native American act- actors out there that could have done it, but I literally, didn't recognize anyone. That names. was the thing. Like when it comes to Jacob, the culture is it's so important, important exactly, to the story. Exactly. So you can't, but I put Tyler Posey. I was thinking that, but then I was like, he's done werewolves before. He's done well. That's literally the only reason I put mm, him because he's okay. familiar with the I role. I actually did think he was one of my options. Yeah. But instead, if we were scrapping that or like at least like going a bit off book, I think Avon, Avon Jogia. Oh yeah. And facts. then I put Diego Bonita as well, who's Mexican, okay. but he's in Pretty Little Liars. Probably, yeah, 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 yeah. I think he kind of has that like um, love triangle vibe. Okay, and then for Bella, I put Jenna Ortega. So oh, she, she was... comes up on my list as well. Okay, man. Nice. No, I put Maud Apatow. Mm. Or Nell Tiger Free, but I know you don't know who that is. Mm. She's in Servant. I think the reason I put Jen, Jenna is because I, I remember watching her in You yeah. and thinking, okay, so she can be a bit like weird. Yeah. And I think she'd be able to capture Bella's essence. I think also Catherine Langsford could, could do it. Who's that? What is 13 she Reasons Why, Hannah Baker. Let's do <laughs> Spider-Man. No, I did other people. Oh, so sorry. So sorry. I did other people. I did you. Rosalie, Elizabeth Gillies. Oh. And this one Excellent. I was really proud of, right? And this one I think is, okay, I'm just gonna say it. Jasper, yeah. Finn Wolfhard. At do what? you know what I mean? You've hit this out thank the park. You, thank you, thank you. I know that my Bella was, but I think Finn you have. would be such, such a good a Jasper. Jasper. Um, He's got the... Yeah. Yeah, literally, so good. Yeah, like the, yeah absolutely. The, like what the, did you do, Emmett? I did Emmett. Heather said Channing Tatum. I thought any sort of like body, Channing Tatum, body like kind of yeah, like hostile yeah. man. I see that. And then Carlisle. I did Justin Baldoni. He gives dad vibes. He gives dad like vibes. Caring dad vibes. And I mean him in real life, not his character. In anything. Okay, yeah. Like he is very like that. Okay, yeah. First, first, first. Not by looks or anything, but yeah. Okay, sorry. Next, Spider Man. Gosh, recasting Spider Man. Who would you have as Peter Parker? Um, so I think people will get annoyed if I say this, but I'm going to say, <laughs> I've got two because I know someone's going to go, yeah, I'm right now. Kiki Palmer. Fuck, as off. Spider- <laughs> Fuck off right now. Fuck off. You want to cast Kiki Palmer as Spider-Man? <laughs> I love Kiki Palmer, okay. but she's not going to play Spider-Man. Okay. Peter Parker. Okay. Then Alfie Enoch. Alfred, I think he's he would be great so for Spider Man. Yeah, he and then be... Kiki is the love interest. If you want to, if you want to be MJ, she is MJ. Like I said, MJ or Gwen, like that love interest. Because I, I just, what made you think <sighs> Kiki Palmer Heather... would be Spider Man? I think she'd be good. I do. Peter yeah, I do. I I dead ass believe that. I'm not trying to be different. I think she'd be good. Kiki Palmer can do anything, so I don't so, doubt okay, that. Okay, fine, but, but I'll I just put... <sighs> you don't agree. Okay, I just don't. Let's say uh... Alfie is Peter and. Love and trust MJ Gwen as Kiki then. I would love to see Alfie and Kiki do Into the Spider Verse. Yeah. Okay. Because well, you know how they have a black Spider Man. Yeah. C- but I think cost. I think they should do a live action Spider Man with a black Spider Man because they did hint yeah. to that in at the end of No Way Home. Yeah, I think because that. of the whole oh, Into the Spider Verse thing. But anyway. And then I didn't. I couldn't think of a trio that made them up. I just knew that I wanted those two in there somewhere. Okay. For Spider Man, for Peter Parker, I put Jack Dylan Grazer. So Who's he's that? in It. 
and he plays like the young like he's like young and fun okay so he gives me peter parker vibes okay, fine. for ned i put a young jake t austin yeah i see that he's quite like that like in um wizards yeah mj charithra chandran yeah love. obsessed love her so much okay next incredibles this is the last one yeah this is Fast. the last okay. no no we've got cinderella oh yeah florence Pierre. yeah who's yours ashley tisdale sabrina carpenter Ooh. i think sabrina would be good I think she'd be good, but Ashley good. is a Disney princess. Yeah, she's that's to true. her core. Really good. You know? Yeah. And Fairy Godmother, I put Meryl Streep. Yeah, or like Helen Mirren or something yeah. like that. Just like a good Brit. Yeah. A good white woman, old, <laughs> oh, older woman. Brit. Not yeah. old, because Meryl Streep is not old, but like. She doesn't age. She doesn't age. They're just perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah. Let's do The Incredibles. For the mother, I put Joy Lenz. Who's that? She plays Haley in, in One Tree Hill. Oh my god! Yeah, I hate Haley's character so much. Least I love character. her so no, much. Least favorite character. But like, but I kind of she's see that. she's yeah. she's mum vibes. I put Emma Stone because she's ginger. Mm, and yeah, I just fair think enough. Emma Stone's a ledge. Fair enough. Sorry for the daughter Violet. I put Miranda Cosgrove. Good shout. Carly. I Carly. I put Aubrey Plaza. I don't know who that is. She is the Heather's face. Shocked. <laughs> Sorry. She is the perfect, perfect perfect violet if not i put jenna ortega yeah um, like the yeah, long hair. yeah yeah but yeah. you you would agree if you knew okay um For- she, in, especially in uh parks and rec okay oh yeah okay fine yeah, yeah i've seen her um for the sun i didn't get one didn't put one dash was one of my i didn't know okay for the dad david harbour in season one of stranger things i put the dad from like good a- luck charlie oh yeah right bob bob's, 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 yeah he's called bob bob's bug yeah whatever it's called okay. yeah 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 i think like, yeah david I mean, harbour's really yeah. good too i just think him when he was in like his dad era yeah yeah i think he slayed and I, yeah um, yeah that's good though i really agree with that thank you no, i was really okay. proud of that um you didn't do the girl with the silver hair i can't remember her name no i didn't lady gaga 100%. yeah facts 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 i did edna oh i couldn't think I of did edna. rami malik you're right. I'm right. Do you know who I was thinking about? Yeah. No, because it actually makes no sense. Like, no sense. Like, there was no Does reason. Does it make less sense than Kiki Palmer's Spider-Man? Less sense. <laughs> Wait till you hear. Hear me out. Edna Mode. <laughs> Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> Whoopi Goldberg? Whoopi Goldberg as Edna from The Incredibles. Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> that's a, that's a, I don't know what... I just, I, it just like brushed through my head and Whoopi I thought, Goldberg. what the fuck am I doing? No. I think it's the little glasses that Whoopi wears. No. But and- you're right with Robin Mallet. That, yeah. that hits the spot. Um, Sorry, guys. And then Frozone, I put Kevin Hart. I know he's not tall and skinny, but yeah. he's funny. I would say Jamie Foxx. I did put Jamie Foxx okay. first. Mm-hmm. I love Jamie Foxx and Kevin Hart. I think they're yeah. both just really funny men. So I think they'd yeah, be both. That's rare. That's so rare. I've yeah. really grown to love and appreciate Kevin Hart's comedy. Really? I didn't really find Americans funny like that before. Okay. But I feel like Kevin Hart's movies especially, I find myself laughing. Okay. I just really feel good. And I love that he's in his dad era in his love movies. That. Yeah, really, really appreciate Kevin Hart. Thank you. Um, did you do Syndrome? Do what? The ginger, the ginger, the, 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 the enemy. In what movie are we talking about? The Incredibles. Oh no. Because you didn't watch it. Didn't watch it. I watched a recap. I watched it when I was 10 surely, years old. Surely Syndrome made quite a big in the recap. It what was, was literally who, about. Who was, the, who was Syndrome? It's He's the kid, kid that becomes the enemy because Mr. Incredibles mean to him. He's I the don't whole remember. plot. I literally don't remember him anyway, in the, any recap. Anyway, I put Will Poulter, so. Fine, fine. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> um, guys, okay, end of, end guys, of the up. Let, end of the app. We're just going to end it like that. <laughs> Guys, let us know what you would recast these movies as. Yeah. Who you would recast these movies as. Um, Maybe not Whippy as Edna. Kaylee's choices. I appreciate you trying to be progressive, but some things. That's not even why. I know you're That's not trying not to do why. that, but it, it. Gosh, my stomach is rumbling like it's never period? rumbled before. It's perioding. Anyway, guys, let us know who you would recast in these movies. If you have any more suggestions that you want us to recast, yeah. let us know. I feel like we've done actually a really good job on most of these. I I'm think really proud of collectively, us. Collectively, yes. Yeah, Maybe like, on my own, no. No, don't put yourself down like that. I Thank think you. you've done really well. Thank you. For the validation. Did you like that? Yeah, that's right. Words mm-hmm. of affirmation, is that your thing? No, but okay. um, acts I'll of I'll hold services. off next time. So how am I supposed to show acts of service and like show my appreciation in that way? Give me a kiss. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Catch you next time when I see this.
Yeah. <laughs>